previously on the Night VP channel. There's like world championships of Pokemon cards. Well, that's there? really fucking sad. <laughs> <laughs> and coming up. Okay, well then that's pretty much it's a skirt. <laughs> I find you very rude. <laughs> The Novimpia channel is made possible by our gorgeous patrons and join now for as little as one dollar to get access to Novimpia game night. Start the shit show. Her name was Lola. She was a showgirl. With all shit up in her hair and her dress cut down to the... Yeah, I've got shit in your hair actually. <laughs> it looks like dandruff. It's not! Oh, this is my real hair. <laughs> it's like when you know when Charmaine's walking around and she scratches her breastplate. <laughs> She's a cat. First things first, welcome to this Novimpia presentation. I'm suddenly very aware of my lower half. This is our new studio. It is, but we're, we haven't set it up properly yet. So Olivia just threw this together last minute, which I thought was really cute. It's a nice presentation. It's a cute, just a temporary little backdrop, but eventually we'll have our backdrop up here and green screen and stuff. So It'll yeah, cool. be better than this is a bit shit. Fucking hell, it was shit. But shit in that, speaking of, the level of hypocrisy What's on the floor, is it? unchallenged. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know, girls do that, don't they? Do what? They get together and go. Oh. I'm sweating. That's not my ass, that was my lower back and it was quite painful. I can't believe you've done this. Oh fuck. I have air conditioned the room before we set in here and apparently it didn't do f shit. I feel quite fine. Well, you can suck my hoop. Today, we're going to be talking about padding. Yes, we have padded for a few years. Me, myself more longer than you. I Use first, your words. I first padded, but I padded before you did. I used car sponges. Yeah, it looks shit. It was ridiculous. I cut a car sponge in half and then just did that. My first like padding, I took like the biggest padded bra I could find from Primark and stuck like a cup on each side of my hips. I thought that was just your ass. No, initially I had, so I had like a cup on each ass cheek and then a cup on, so it was two bras. We're so far away, this is so weird. Well, because we're, we're trying to, we're gonna show off like our bodies, aren't we? Yeah. Anyway, so we are um, friendly with a dear queen, Izzy Hard. A dear queen? Lincoln. Drag queen, she's not a dear queen, no. So stupid. Hello, Mr. Powers. Care to have- <laughs> Hello, Mr. Powers. Hello, Mr. Powers. Care to have a little fun? Care to have a little fun? I don't know what's going on. Often, you know often. Izzy Hard has a business called Izzy's Boutique where she creates padding. And she's branched out into a range of other things now. And she was kind enough to send us a little box, a sample box. I say little box, it was fucking huge. Full of her wares for us to sample and show to you today. And we thought that we would do that whilst speaking a bit. About padding. I about hate padding, padding. At the same time. I try and get out of padding as often as I can. I fucking hate it because foam against like your skin, it's not like friction burn, but where, where, where it's, there's like friction, it's hard to maneuver them Those around. Are These are your old ones. These are my old, oh. Which will be perfect to, to dab the swoon. Ah, uh, what's ooh? Uh, everything about that, they're dirty. It's just your skin though, isn't it? Uh. These are the first set of pads that I ever You've made. You've seen them on Drag Race. You've seen queens use these. They're like Africa-shaped pieces of just like upholstery foam that you shove around the side I mean, of your hips. These are broken, but they go like underneath tights and give you like a more feminine Beach -like. figure. They give you wider hips. Hourglass. Which yes. I've got in you. I've got that naturally. They I? are a pain in the ass to make. It's so messy. I find it quite difficult it's well, very difficult. Because you're constantly putting them on, taking them off, putting them on, taking them off to like see how they look. If you have them even slightly too low, it's then almost impossible to kind of correct them because they kind of like tug on your skin and... Oh, you mean just wearing them? To wear them and they're impossible to move around, they rip, they're very flimsy. And so Izzy, we were aware of the fact that Izzy, with her, her store, she makes custom hip pads and butt pads all in one, but they're inside these shorts that you literally just pull the shorts on, like Mrs. Fucking Doubtfire. So the idea is not only do you not have to worry about placement because they're in one kind of unit of clothing, they're also more kind of seamless and 
pointless. And smooth because they're in these like seamless shorts. I look like Darby Lynn Cartwright. No, you don't. Why not? You will never look like Darby Lynn. She just wears like a dress, like a plain cheap dress, doesn't she? I was just gonna say Darby's thin. I can't work with this. <laughs> so we wanted to show you, first of all, how we look without any padding whatsoever, so you have a basis for comparison. And then we're gonna try on some of her bits. Just a bit Even of like back information though. Before you show that, I wear a corset, right? Okay, so for, for the longest time, it was just like, I would wear a corset and that was it, because I thought that gave me kind of enough. And it's obviously a personal choice. You don't have to pad if you're like a, a queen who's like just starting out or whatever. And it's like, I don't know if I should pad or not. You don't have to do shit, you can do whatever you like. You don't have to at all, but I do find it, I don't, not even because it's more feminine, I just find it very much more aesthetically pleasing. It's more shapely. I don't pad to try and look more like a woman. I pad right. because it gives the entire visual more shape it's a silhouette it's an hour I'm mask. such like a, a plank there's well, like nothing here and clothing looks better that's the thing when it's on it's more the of a shape it, it improves um the look of the kind of like clothing if clothing is designed oh i'm really sweaty my hay fever is wild today as well so apologies for that don't go near my undercarriage. People always think I'm like on coke or something because I'm always sniffing. And people think I've just I've just come off of like the tidal wave at Thorpe Park. I always thought that was really shit. I know people would like. Park. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're not missing anything. I think I think Thorpe Park is such a con. Right. What were we talking about? <laughs> I want to believe. So this is what we look like, and then we're going to sort of like compare. We're going to go go away and put the hip, the hip pads on, and then we'll yes. um we'll try some garments over and see the difference. See, but from the front, I think it's perfectly palatable for My, yourself. I think for someone like as like of a as much of a plank as me, you can't corset it. I can. At, oh, I can. I can corset. No, it. my God, look at your. I've just seen there your is, body. There is room to corset. Have and you that's, seen? That would like, hang on, stand in front of me. Do I come out? Come on, do I come out either side of you? Do I come out the other side? I can see in the mirror, but I can't see the No, you can't there. actually. I'm very impressed with my slender physique. No, but you're stood behind me though, so... That's what I mean, but you can't see yeah, me. But the, yeah, but when you stand behind something, it looks smaller, doesn't it? No. Look at your stupid teeth. <laughs> um, yeah, you can't well, but there's nothing really to work with. But yeah, the even size, if I corseted though, like it would give me something a bit better, but I also have no ass. Nothing there at all. Nothing there at all. See, show the kids at home. See, there's nothing there, look, nothing, nothing at all. Nothing at all. I... But if you do have a little bit of meat on you, you can get away with corseting and that will do a lot. Yes, from the front, but this is, I'm gonna show you something now, I'm gonna show you. I turn to the side and I'm just a barrel. Like, <laughs> this <laughs> bit here is not, but then underneath it, I've got, there's no ass. I've got quite a good ass, but then I feel like when you when I wear a corset, it looks good from the front, but it then gives me this kind of like weird, because this bit comes out way over. This dress is really short. There's things that I don't personally care, you know, like about this. I just get out of, of padding generally. But I'm excited to try it. Let's do it. So the, the thing about using the pads that I showed you before, I have made a new pair and they, they last maybe a couple of years and then you've got to make another pair, is to hide them, you've got to hide them under like several layers of tights, which is always a, a nightmare in itself because of nails. And then it's even worse then trying to like place, if you're in like a public toilet in a club or a bar, trying to replace pads on yourself, Do you remember? wearing nails with tights, it's such a shit show. In, at Mickey's that was. Yeah, and you, you helped do me it. in a disabled toilet. And they were gonna kick us out because they thought we were humping in there. I don't think they were. Yep. Presenting from Izzy's Boutique, these roast chickens. <laughs> when I got this out because it looks like a chicken. So basically, um, Ina says, I don't know why her mom's always got up at like 3 a.m. just to put the turkey in for hours and hours. I think it was something about bacteria. I think they have this thing about bacteria. Izzy said that you can also recreate that moment from Friends, ah. which I can't even get this over my hair, so. So what we're looking at is like a pair of tan shorts, and then can you turn them inside out? I don't want to upset it. Inside, she's made pads and like enclose them inside of like tights, like pantyhose envelopes and then sewn everything closed. Oh nurse, what time do I go in? 
Yeah, can, these how much are have you great it off? compared to mine because this has got way more of an ass than I've ever put on my. But also, the pads before. themselves inside are in are inside yeah. tights themselves, yeah. so the whole thing just sort of slides on effortlessly, like an I'm your Venus. I'll be very. <laughs> I'll be very interested to see what these look like on and how they compare. Here's the butt. You can see very clearly there's the butt. There's so my, uh, my, my back butt bottom, <laughs> front bottom. Back bottom, front bottom. How do you do that? <laughs> front bottom. How do you do that? Well, yours, <laughs> yours just looks like a, a giant uni tit. Izzy was also kind enough to send us some padded bras, which I've is... I've never seen these before. I'm very excited. Quite a cute idea. So she takes, I don't know if it's like off cuts or, or what, but she takes padding and sews it into the cups. I can't believe so this. So you don't ever have to worry about like socks full of, with rice or like whatever anyone else uses. Yeah. Oh God. I'm showing you something now. What do you think about that? Smell it. This is that is hideous. It, this is he it's heinous. But then I don't know. The thing, the other thing about something like this, where it's like heavy rice tit situation, that from the side, if you're wearing a tight garment, it gives you like four tits. Like, have a look at that. Can you see? Look at that. Yeah. Four tits. Yeah, it does. <laughs> What? Oh, me? <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> you get out! Look at the ass! <laughs> Look at the ass on it! Can you imagine? A woman lives here. Now we're being very sexy and exposed right now because you can see a little bit of body hair here and the fact that I've not done my foundation all the way to the bottom. <laughs> I've got nothing to warn you about because I am what? Practically perfect in every way, Mary Poppins. First thoughts about this is they're fucking great. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm especially mad about these bras. They fe they feel so much lighter than wearing like I still wear like, the rice tits if I'm not wearing my breastplate, and it's so much lighter. But it it's very still light. feels quite solid. And they've still got a good shape to them. So that's like there's it something feels, like, more breathable almost. It's just, I mean, my tits were so heavy. I've got rid of them now. So absolutely fucking hit rock solid. And not only are these a bit squishier, they're just so light. I just feel yeah, so it's light. Yeah, it's so much better. And we just obviously went and put these on and having to put on pads beforehand with hair on in this heat would not have happened at all. Yeah, we I wouldn't have done it. I would ordinarily wear an extra pair of tights. I've decided not to because I'm so hot. You've so come that to is unprepared. That is on me. Normally, when I wear when, I, when I'm in drag, oh. I wear a white pair of 60 denier tights, and I wear two pairs of Capizio dance tights, followed by a pair of fishnets. So I'm just not wearing the white tights. So that's why you, if I mean you can barely you can barely see it, but if you really really look hard, the line is just like there. Essentially, I think Izzy's store, first of all, it's incredible value. And I'm not, I'm literally not just saying that. I think that for the price she sells this shit, bespoke pads, by the way, they kind of work with saving by yes. just I hate, I hate them. making pads because yeah, you have awful. to constantly keep trying them and it's a lot it's of effort. It's messy work as well. It takes up so much space and there's fucking foam everywhere it's really messy work so these are very different to my pads in shape and that these give me so much more of a waist and the, the ass, ass is so is realistic so much rounder it blends in look so at the difference better. look at the difference between us no i'm fatigued too i just can't believe the ass on it it's literally like i don't know it was so easy doing this whole thing okay so izzy's boutique has stores so she's got the pads in the shorts she also does the performance tights which is like dance tights right? yeah so there's a pair of plain fishnets here and a pair of rhinestone fishnets here and she sent us some lashes as well, which look really fucking good. So she does all of your basics. She's got the pads, she's got the bras, she's got the, the performance tights, lashes. Um, there's a couple of other bits on there, so I'll, I'll, we'll throw up a link. She's also given us a discount code. So if you would like to get 10% off your own pair. Shall we not finish this video off actually wearing a proper outfit? Oh, yes. <laughs> so it's so down. If you, but no, but I'm going to say it now anyway. Ten, she's given us a 10% off, and the, considering they're bespoke pads, 
See, like, that's just, I mean, have a look at that. What? And, Shit. like, we love Izzy, but, like, we, we don't know her well enough to lie about her, so we, you know that we're We've only met the bitch once. <laughs> met the bitch once. She could be a monster. And we've not been paid to do this video. Yes, we were gifted these pads and these bras, but we've not been paid to do this video, so if they were shit, we, you would be hearing us telling you that they are shit. Yeah, we were gifted, only because I asked. <laughs> we were doing a live stream, and she came in and I said, I oh. I staring at my ass. I was like, Izzy, oh, I know you want to send us some of those pads to try. And she was just like, yes, okay. So all I, all I would say is for myself, I would wear an extra pair of tights because I can see a few seams, but I would never normally imagine I could wear just two pairs of tights and fishnets anyway. I'm I just, don't think I'd change just, a goddamn thing. No, you look great. I'm just too hot to wear three pairs of tights, so that's why I'm not doing it. If you're uh, maybe a slightly larger frame and you're wondering how I've put this together, because I know tights are hard to get in large sizes, I'm literally wearing two pairs of really, really thick, I don't they're not even performance tights, they're just like thick lady tights from the Big Bloomers Company, that's what it's called. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Fishnets you can just get anywhere because they g generally are just one size, aren't they? Because they're fucking stretch. The shaping pants, Primark. Oh my god. Oh yeah, this is what I'm wearing as well, Primark. These are they're the best. Great. And they're um, like four pounds. And they keep everything together. So no matter what kind of padding you're wearing, they're so good because it really helps marry the padding like to your waist. It's gonna marry. They're brilliant. They're your absolutely ass. brilliant. Oh. Oh my god. Ass to ass with you. <laughs> Do you that? Ass to ass with me. Na, 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 na. Okay, let's oh put some god. garments on. Okay, so I'm gonna yeah. put on what I had on earlier on. Yeah, me too. And then I also might want to try on like a little swimsuit and see what that looks like. Although, don't be alarmed if when you put something on all of a sudden it becomes really difficult to pull up. But because it's all like gonna, sofa padding. Because I'm gonna be put my dress I'll on. stay with them. Because it's sofa padding, you can squish yourself into it. I'm gonna rip this dress. I'm gonna damage the garment. Okay, well then that's pretty much, it's a skirt. <laughs> no, I could have just done done the zip. Oh Jesus, yeah, that's gonna work. My breasts all of a sudden feel larger than they were before. No, I am sorry, what? <laughs> Look at the ass on it. I'm loving myself sick in this. I don't really wear body cons that often. I feel like I would have it maybe if it was gonna be some sort of like long situation. I generally tend to wear bodies with sort of side skirts and things. But even so, I am gonna sell this house today. I will sell this house today. I will sell this house today. Oh. <laughs> would you fuck me? You're gonna shit when you see me. You know what we want to do is get Charmaine a pair of these. You look great. Yeah, thanks. How fucking good does this look? We look like the number 88. <laughs> I've never had a waist like this before. And like I said, like I've padded for several years now, but I've never had pads with this kind of shape. No, stop it. I, I can't get over it. <sighs> and the bra is so, it's so good. It's so comfortable. Like I, I know we're just repeating what we said, but like, it really makes a big difference because it's softer, it's not hard. Soft and natural. Well, drag is all about layers and you're constantly layering shit upon shit upon shit. So anything that can help it's minimize one's that so sweaty at the moment. is amazing. But I can't I can't stop staring at my reflection. Would you undo me? Because I wear my corset has to go on top of the situation to marry the mm. pads and stuff. When you turn to the side, it does stick out a bit, the corset. I feel like a lot of girls get that though. Shah gets that all the time. Yeah, but no, don't compare me. Shah's awful. She's, no, but like, I'm, I'm just thinking about much girls that like corset. She's much bigger than I am. She doesn't wear a corset. She wears one of those cheap cincher things. Yeah, if I wore maybe another one of these shaper panties on top, I'm gonna make sure this window over here is closed so Robin next door doesn't see my puss puss. <laughs> I'm gonna take this off and see if I can't put on like something a bit more revealing, like a bodysuit or a swimsuit or something. A simple negligee. Oh yeah, this is gonna look great. Fuck me, this is tight. Why is this so tight? Jackie, help me. Jackie, really bad stopping pains in my stomach. Oh, I look good in this. <laughs> Even if I say so myself. So this is now too. This is now too small for me. This'll never fit. Is this on backward? How did I ever wear this thing? 
No swimming for me today. Oh, don't steal my purse. What are you doing? Oh, are we not, not on? No, we're not on. <laughs> I look like contestant number four. And now, take a step back, is the swimsuit section <laughs> of the competition. Oh, contestant number three, please, Nova. They don't swim. She's beauty, she's great. No, it's not. Why are you so wet? <gasps> I mean, this is Garmont number two, the swimsuit segment. We both went for stars, we didn't really realise. These are very, like, low. I, I almost feel like I've got them on backwards. What? Your pads? No, the swimsuit. Because it's so, like, low in the front. I'm wondering if I've got it on backwards. <laughs> that looks good. <laughs> so I feel like padding obviously isn't necessary. I feel like it elevates your drag a little bit. It's an investment piece. Hmm. And... It's worth the money for the amount of stress and money you'll save down the road because of the more garments you can wear and feel good in. They're not easy to make. We've made several pairs of pads before in the I past. I mean, you can, but I don't know why you would ever bother now. Having these, I'm, I'm never going to make a pair again. What state do you want to be from? Oh, this is like when they did Hannah Montana. Who was I in the end? Yes, no, but I was trying to think of one that could like rhyme, like a rhyming thing, because I remember when the Hannah Montana thing went around, and then I, who was I? Oh, oh yes. Oh, it wasn't Estate, I was Nova Moldova. Yes, because it nothing wasn't. rhymed with it. Yeah. What was I, like Olympia, former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia? <laughs> well, I've got it, I mean, I, I have to be Texas, don't I? Because I'm... Look at my farm I'm time. huge. You're like Rhode Island. You're Did like you that pissy that? bitch from, from Miss Congeniality, do you remember? I'd have to say April 25th. So, Izzy's Boutique, we'll put the link in the description. She does hip padding, in the shorts, padded bras, performance tights, diamante fishnets. Diamante, such a disgusting word. I hate that so I like much. The, the lashes, she does Elmer's glue sticks, and she does jewels by Crown Jewels UK, and press on nails by Jay. So she's kind of like, she does all Izzy your basics. Izzy has previously sent me some jewellery, and that is great as well, very well priced. She sent me um, some earrings and a matching ring. And you can get 10% off a lot with the code <laughs> NOMIMPY10. Oh my God. So Izzy, honestly, thank you so much because you've saved me so many hours of distress and self-hatred. Um, Look how good our ass is look. Check out my ass. ass Check out the ass. ass Check out the fucking ass. The Head over to Patreon me. if you'd like to see a strip tease that Nova and I are about to do. Ah! I don't know why. <laughs> that you were not aware of this, but I'm deciding that we're going to do that. How? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go there's, get... nothing, there's nothing teasing about taking off drag. Like, it's no, such an effort. I'm going to... I've got a simple negligee. So head over, uh, head over to Patreon if you want to see that. Ow! There's some birthdays to do. Just the two, Nova. You can do them. It's happy birthday to two of our Patrons who I forgot to add to the list previously in previous videos. Congratulations. Yes. It's Evelyn Fox for May 23rd. Happy birthday, Evelyn. And then also Bumble Scrums for June 17th. Always got it wrong. Apologies <laughs> for being so completely shit, Nova. I'm forgetting. It wasn't me. To put you on the list. It was, I'm it was so sorry. You. No, and I hope that this will suffice for you. Woo! <laughs> and her name was Lola. She was a showgirl to our brand new patrons. Owen Murphy, a Blue Phoenix, Max Jess, Ingvar Solberg, Azriel Spellman, The Simstress, Tiffany H, 1881, Hannah M, Evil Allspice, Jack McGrath, Eric Ryland, Joyo, Joe Young, Matt at 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 Johnny Azul, John Guzman, Divine Mediocrity, Fred Jarrett, Volumes Page, Farid Diti, John Jordan, Elise, Kevin Lee, Heather Fugelvik, Everyday Goth Fat Benatar, Aaron Mulhern, Mark Turbot Funkus, Crystal831, and Christopher Potts. Join the Patron, we'll do a shot of Patron.